Coliseum Tournament. And Patas Art Studio present Coliseum Tournament 16, The Story. Hello kickboxing fans from around the world, my name is Daniel Austin and right now we take a look at Coliseum Tournament 16, The Story. Romanian promotion Coliseum Tournament held its 16th edition Monday in the city of Sibiu, located in the Transylvania region. The fight card was broadcast in Romania on Digisport and internationally on Fightbox HD and Fight TV. The 16th event of Coliseum Tournament Kickboxing was headlined by a four-man 65-kilogram championship tournament. This movie is dedicated to all the brave fighters. Lovely Camelia Botsoi was the Romanian language ring announcer. And now, Romania, are you ready?
gentlemen, are you ready? Four men will step into the ring in this tournament, but only one can leave the inaugural Coliseum Tournament 65 kilogram world champion. Final bout, Italy's Fabrizio Conti faced Adria Maxi of Romania. Conti tried to keep the fight at a distance against the shorter Maxi. We have never had a 65 kilo champion, but tonight we make history. Maxim did some serious damage upstairs to Fabrizio Conti. as well from Andrew and Maxime right there. Conte looking for the knee on the inside. From Romania, Adrian Maxi! In the center of the ring. Never want to leave it to the judges now as Conti opening up in round three. Non c'è niente, non c'è niente. Appena metti l'occhio in mezzo. Sì, grande! The Romanian was able to block a lot of Conti's jabs and countered knee attempts with looping left hands. Ecco lo Stoni, dai Fabrizio! C'è la guardia bassa, Fabrizio! This is it. Who wants it more? There's the bell, and we will go to the judges. Maxi was able to outland the Italian to earn the decision 
connecting with some good low kicks and left hooks. On the other side of the tournament brackets, Maxim Raylian of Moldova took on Georgian Levan Ravashavin, who fights out of sight. Raylian, starting to unload with the heavy artillery. right now, but this is going to pay dividends as we fight for better. Oh, he busted that eye open again, and there's blood. serious experience advantage over the young Revasishvili, who may have been the dark horse in this tournament. The two winners squared off at the end of the night for the inaugural featherweight championship. And the Stop. end of an absolutely brutal round number two. the face of Rayleon. That is the face of a warrior and he's coming oh. right after him now. Oh. Looking for revenge. Look at that knee though. From the Republic of Georgia by way of Cyprus, Leo Levon Revazishvili. Он не может там, он обосрался. Clubbing shot! Back and forth they go! The fight seemed close after two rounds. Raylion seemed to edge the first before Revasishvili had some good moments in round two. Raylion uh, putting the pressure on! How uh, much more can Revasishvili take? Blood kept pouring out of his nose now! This is a big round. This is a turning point in the fight here for Raylion. Oh, backing him up with jabs and unloads with the right. Oh, God, what another shot that was. Looking for the liver now. Raylion just going to town. Closing seconds. Oh, God, a knee went in that time. Ray Leon had a good third round to get the win over Revazishvili in the second semifinal.
something seriously wrong here. But I, I believe with Alexander's stat, he does not look to be in very good shape here. Still moving back. But in Somebody better call his mama. That is, that is sickening. decision over Perutsky in a close battle. from Pirutsky in round three for illegal holding. The referee had warned him previously.
to do this with the graph of the Wojciech took control of the bout against a less experienced coach Marosz, walking him down and landing some good punches. On the inside, the veteran landed some clean knees to the body. There were no knockdowns and neither fighter was stunned.
all his way to a win over the younger Sherban. Both fighters were cut. With Vasinka fighting from the South Postings and Sherban Orthodox, the fighters clashed heads a few times. Vasinka got the win, but Sherban showed some good skills in defeat. Nikita courageously took the bout on short notice against the reigning Colosseum tournament title holder, Ionescu. After some early action, Ionescu began landing some hard low kicks oh and some good body blows with Nikita Here on the ropes. Come. Ionescu continued his low kick attack, leading to an eight count and I eventual corner stop. Nikita stoppage. credit because he's, he had the, the gall, he had the intestinal fortitude, he had the balls to take this fight and not many guys do they had two opponents back out of this fight one of them at very short notice i think just on one day notice perhaps ionescu is known as the silent killer and every single word of that is true one of the most dominant vicious fighters that we've seen in Coliseum tournament. And you're seeing right now exactly why that is the case. Oh my! Did you see the pain oh. from the low kick? Oh. Etched on the face hey. now of Flavius hey. Nikita as he gets Five. the eight count Two. in round one. Ionescu thanked Nikita for accepting the fight in his post-fight interview. Each day I'm preparing for everything, for everyone, said the champion, known as the silent killer, when asked what he'd like to see happen next. Rules contest? Forget about it. Look at the size of this man. Well, oh boy. It may be a quick night. Quick night at the office here for Daniel Natea. Oh my. Oh, okay. Lopter. Here we go! No! Natea blast him again with a big right hand! 
Oh, oh he just hit him like a cannonball! Down to the canvas goes Vanderhoek! And I do not think he's getting up! Natia, standing 204 centimeters tall and weighing in at a hefty 160 kilos, made quick work of the Dutchman in an exhibition fight for charity. Ono se vam, a što je tu vodilo adresat? Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the moment that we've all been waiting for. This is the main event of the evening. Three rounds of kickboxing action in the Coliseum Tournament 65 kilogram weight division. And it is the finals of the Coliseum Featherweight Championship Tournament. The winner of this contest will become the inaugural Coliseum Tournament Featherweight Champion of the World. Landed some nice low kicks on the inside and outside of Ray Leon's leg in round one, but the Romanian started to tire in round two.
<laughs> he came right out here on my commentary station and almost punched me in the face. I don't know, folks. I think I need a bodyguard out here or something. Oh, he's, he's right between the ropes now. He's almost out of the ring again. And he's just got so much fervor that he just couldn't stop punching. He didn't even hear the referee, I don't think. Oh, wow, what a right hand that was by Adrian Maxi. Coliseum Champion, a true story. This is not another kickboxing story. This is my life, and maybe one day, my glory. Every second in the ring seems like a lifetime. Every hit can get you close to a knockout. Every match can be your victory. Every win could be your glory. This I promise you. I'm a name that you'll remember. I will win my own glory. I will put my name on the belt. Don't worry, you'll see my face on the Coliseum Tournament story. They call me the Coliseum Champion, a fighter from another world. With great strength, speed like none other, no restraint, powerful savagery, unmatched in resistance and unlimited desire to win. I'm a true champion. <laughs> остановили как можно. Все нормально, не переживай, все, что делается, все для тебя. Он обосрался. Попей как меня, войди в это состояние. Войди в него. Войди в то состояние, где ты меня, блядь, сука, нахуй, чуть не убил в поясе. И он, бей, блядь, его со всей дури, плохо куда. Ты ждешь, пока он откроется, он не откроется. Ты должен его убить, блядь. Ну как ты этого не понимаешь? Ты же это умеешь. I will be victorious. It's my time. There's no ending, cause I was born for this. This I promise you, I will never give up. I will always seek victory. That's the Coliseum Tournament story. I'm here for my glory. I'm here for my glory. landing some good right hooks and left hands before Maxime tried to rally late in the round. Maxime now senses that the end is near. His primal instincts are kicking in now. Ten second hammer goes down. Big kick. Maxime's coming back in the final 30 seconds. But is it enough? Is it enough to win the title? The bout was declared a draw with an extra round to decide the winner. Oh, Maxime appeared either unhappy with the extra round or exhausted because he left the ring. Ray Leon was declared the TKO winner and the inaugural Coliseum Tournament featherweight champion.
Mai mult ați spus. Mersi mult, familie, antrenorilor, managerilor. Vă iubesc! Maxim, we know that uh, your opponent, Adrian Maxim, left the building. What are your thoughts about him not coming back for the extra round? Uh, nu pot să vă spun, nu pot să vă dau răspuns la întrebarea dată. Nu știu, de ce a plecat? Deja trebuia să comunice, eu cred că antrenorii și restul. Nu știu motivul, nu-l cunosc. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans or to the audience right now? Merci mult, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your Coliseum Tournament Featherweight Champion! The next Coliseum Tournament event takes place on the 1st of December in the Romanian capital of Bucharest. See you at Coliseum Tournament 17. We discover the real champions.